Hello everyone, my name is Vardhan and today we are going to discuss about VGP load balancing and load sharing with dual home and multi home environment. So in this particular lesson we are going to cover the difference between dual home and multi home environment and uh, the, how to perform the load balancing with VGP and uh, where is it not possible, how to perform load sharing, then we will discuss about uh, BGP path attributes. Then I will just demonstrate you how to perform the load balancing and load sharing by taking an example. So first of all, let's uh, discuss uh, what is the difference between dual home and multi home. So let's say if you have an office, right, and having an MPLS, MPLS connection. So if if there are multiple links coming to uh, to your uh, you know uh, to, towards your office from the MPLS router, that means it's a dual home environment. It means you are having redundant links from sing single ISP which are coming towards your uh, office right so those links might terminate on a single router or on multiple routers at your end so this is dual home whereas in multi home you have multiple ISP connection so you might be having more than one ISP connection which are terminating at your office so that is multi home so let's discuss what is the difference between load balancing and load sharing See, by load balancing, what we can understand is if you have multiple path, then you know the the uh, you can uh, load balance the traffic and use those multiple paths simultaneously. So, uh, so with uh, BGP, BGP supports equal path, equal cost path load balancing. So by default, it to support one best path, but you can enable it to support up to sixteen equal cost path and you can load balance the traffic on them whereas if we talk about load sharing what load sharing is in load sharing you know like you can't load balance the traffic so basically load balancing is not possible in the multi home environment where you have you are having multiple isps which are uh, which are in different as so in multi home environment what you can do is you can do, perform load sharing instead of load balancing so uh, what is load sharing? So what happened is, let's suppose you have uh, two uh, connection coming on from ISPs, right, from two different ISP, and you have multiple subnet which are being advertised by both the ISPs. So by default, uh, the uh, BGP will select one best path, right? So what you can do is, uh, you can, what you can do if you have multiple subnet, right, you can send traffic for some subnet through one link and for other subnet through other link so those will be redundant like if uh, let's suppose for a particular subnet x dot x dot x dot x i have put a uh, isp that is label 3 as primary whereas uh, for the same subnet the other isp is vodafone which will be secondary similarly for uh, for y dot y dot y uh, label th uh, like a uh, vodafone is primary and label 3 is secondary so in that way you can uh, get the load sharing you can share the load uh, between two multiple links so before we proceed further with uh, the demonstration of how to perform load balancing and load sharing we have to first understand how bgp select the best path if you have multiple path in your table how bgp will select you know which path it has to use so for that bgp has different path attributes so so uh, you know the path attributes are based on the priority so like uh, with the path attributes that are listed here are from priority 1 to priority uh, 10 like weight is the highest priority so what weight is weight uh, weight is cisco proprietary right attribute and it is the it is having the highest priority so let's suppose if i want uh, if i want to influence one path to be used for a particular traffic or for a particular uh, you know subnet i can uh, use weight so we, uh, now the default weight for the directly connected uh, neighbor is 32768 whereas the default weight for other is 0. So if you want to prioritize any traffic to uh, to go through a particular link you can uh, give it a higher weight using the route maps right. The second one is local preference. Now local preference and weight do the same purpose like they are to influence the outgoing traffic but how local preference is different from weight. See, weight, first of all, weight is local to Cisco, sorry, is Cisco proprietary, right? Second, weight is local to router, means weight can only influence the traffic within the router, whereas local preference is open source and 
it is local to AS. Means if you are having if you are having multiple uh, you know multiple routers in a AS, you can uh, you can prefer one router for some particular traffic and other router for uh, for other traffic. So you can influence it by path from local preference. Then comes in picture is originate. So originate prefer the path that are locally originated using a network command or through uh, redistribution from a IGP. Okay. Now third uh, fourth one is AS path. So AS path is lower is preferred. So basically see weight and local preference were for, for outgoing traffic whereas AS path and MBD are for inbound traffic the traffic which is coming from ISP towards your environment. So AS path always lower is preferred. After that it comes origin. Origin I is like I the the uh, you know route which are like the route which are run from the uh, from the BGP is preferred over e EGP and that is preferred over question mark that is redistributed routes. Now MAD as we discussed MAD is for the incoming traffic so MAD always lower is preferred and by default MAD is zero. Now if if all like if all these are equal uh, like if like you know what bgp does is it will compare each and every attribute let's suppose if if it get a weight higher for some traffic it will uh, you know prefer that path if if it weight is same then it will go to local preference it will check local preference it is if it is also same then it will come to originate similarly then it comes to as path origin mad if the mad is also same then it will prefer ebgp over ibgp because ebgp ad is 20 ibgp ad is uh, 200 then after that it prefer the path with the lowest IGP metric to the BGP next row right and see if all of these conditions like from weight to mad from coming from the weight to mad are same then those path can be considered at as equal cost path and the load balancing can be performed a multipathing can be performed so we will discuss these attributes uh, in more details later. So, so like okay. <clears throat> so first of all, uh, we will discuss dual home environment. As I said, uh, in dual home environment, let's suppose R one is your office router. You're having, uh, you are uh, you are having a single ISP connection, uh, right? Uh, which suppose which is from uh, any vendor, any ISP vendor and which is in AS6500 one and this is your remote site. So basically you are having like dual home environment in which your office is connected through I, uh, through MPLS using two routers. Okay so now let's see how we can uh, do uh, load balancing using a maximum path command right. So I have this uh, thing configured here. So see uh, our one is like our office site r4 is the remote site so r1 user sitting at r1 will try to access these two subnets 1.1.1 and 2.2.2 so we will see how we can load balance the traffic to pass uh, to use both these links simultaneously so let me just kick, uh, quickly uh, clear the bgp configuration So I have uh, created the uh, BGP configuration. So if we check uh, the current configuration, we have a very uh, simple configuration. So let's check uh, the
so on r1 we have two interface configured one is connecting to r2 another one is connected to uh, r3 so if we check the description see 0 by 0 is connected to r2 whereas 1 by 0 is connected to r3 similarly in r1 also we have uh, two interface uh, configured that is 0 by 0 and 1 by 0 and if you check the description so these two interface uh, is connected uh, 0 by 0 is connected to R1 1 by 0 is connected to R4 similarly on R3 Zero by zero connected to R one, one by zero connected to R four. Same goes to this. So it has four interfaces. Uh, these are this will be advertised on BGP. These are two connecting. So let me check the description. 0 by 0 connected to R3 and 1 by 0 connected to R2. So this is our topology. So there are two links from R1 which are connecting one to R2, other one to R3. Similarly R2 connecting R1 and R4, R3 connecting R1 and R4. So we will see how uh, the traffic is load balance in this particular scenario. Okay. So let me quickly do the BGP configuration. So the BGP configuration would be a uh, very simple configuration. Uh, so on R1, we will configure uh, router BGP. Uh, the AS number is 6500, right? And the neighbor is 192, 1.2 and 2.2. Both are in same AS. So I'll just take this one. And we'll configure it here. Sorry, on R1. So uh, BGP configuration is done on R1. Similarly, uh, we'll do the configuration on R2. For R2, again, it has two neighbor, 1.1 that is R1 and 3.2 that is R4. So we'll do this configuration on R2. Similarly, on R3, again, AS would be 6500 one, and one neighbor is R1 and other one is R4. And the remote AS of R4 is 6503 and R1 is 6500. And R3 is 1 is R2 and other one is R3 both are in same AS so, and on this particular R4 we are going to advertise two networks that is 1.1.1 and 2.2.2.2 so I'll just run this these commands so it is running on R4 and it is running on R3 So now we are good with the BGP configuration and you will soon see that uh, BGP will be up and we will be able to see those two routes on R1. Let me quickly check the neighborship status. So see the neighborship is up with 1.2 and 2.2. Right? Let me check if I got the route information. As of now, we are not getting these two routes. Uh, VGP neighborship might not have come up here. OK, 
is the neighbor ship is up and it is learning to prefix from uh, R4. So these two should be available here as well now. See, now we are learning two routes, 1.1.1 and 2.2.2. So see, though we are having two, though we are having two links, right? One is 192.168, like we are having two links. One next stop is 192.168.1.2. Another one is 192.168.2.2. Still, we are learning, we are having only one best route for 1.1.1 1 .1 from 192.168.2.2 and from 2.2.2.2 is also 192.168.2.2. So let uh, let us quickly check the BGP uh, table for this. Show IP BGP. So which route is preferred? 192.168.2.2 is preferred. Okay. So let's see why it is preferred. So here comes the path attributes. So if we go back to the path attributes, see, I just see first path attribute is weight. If we talk about weight, weight is zero because none of uh, it is uh, none of these network is directly connected, right? So weight is equal. So it will go to local preference. Local preference is not used, so it will again uh, have no effect. Originate, both are not locally originated, so it's same. AS path. See, both are learning from both are learned from uh, from two AS path. So this is again same. Origin, all are learned from BGP. MAT, MAT is not used not configured ebgp over ibgp both are ebgp neighbor right now prefer the uh, path with uh, lowest igp metric we are not using any uh, igp here so again it's same now see if all these are all these are same right now these two path can be considered same for multi uh, can be considered to be for a uh, multi pathing if 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 any one of it uh, coming from where to mat would be different there will be no multipathing but as all that all of them are same then we can multipath the environment so let's suppose why it is uh, first of all, like as of now it is giving preference to one route why because it is uh, giving the preference to the route which came up first so the route from 192 .2 might have come up first that is why it is preferring it but as of now it is not doing any load balancing though it is eligible for load balancing as all the attributes from uh, starting from uh, weight to mat are same so if i again check show ip route see again it's not preferring so in order to uh, you know in order to for perform the load balancing if the multipathing uh, condition is met we have to uh, use the command maximum path under bgp so what i'll do is i'll go to Conf e router bgp 6500 bgp maximum path 